a rainy day girl you're actually here when it's live hi sid hope all is well with you and your family thank you very much nice to catch you here uh yeah all good here hello saf hello sandy here's to sid and one million subscribers yeah that'd be nice wouldn't it that would be nice all right i need to refresh my thing i'm i'm got this balanced oh i'm talking about it i've got this balanced on something again so i don't want to uh yeah, keep having to press the, the phone screen. I just need the chat to load up so I can see everybody. How's everybody doing then? Everyone okay? I'm a bit under the weather, I am. I'm, I've got a cold or something, so... No video today, unfortunately. Hopefully I can get one out tomorrow. Alright, why is my chat not showing up here? Hi chat, show chat. Let me refresh again. Bear with me, guys. Technical issues. Um, I'll tell you what, go on different account. Oh, it's my bloody internet, that's what it is. Come on. Let's go on this one. Bear with me, guys, one second. Where's my chat not showing there? Um, hello, Neil. Sorry, guys, hang on. It's not showing up on my PC for some reason. Sorry about the squeaky chair, by the way. All right, I'll have to try and... Hopefully this thing loads in a second. Hmm. All right, I might have to try and not move this too much. Excuse my fingers in the screen. Let's try and grab grab everybody. Hi, banana. Oh, there it is. We've loaded up. Right, gotcha. So what we got? Hi, banana. Diamond exterior cleaning. Evening, Sid. Cheers for the advice earlier. No worries, mate. Any time. If you ever need anything, just check in. I'll um the little knowledge I have, I'll try and help out. Uh, hello, Craig. All good. Thank you, mate. Uh, hello, Dominique. Hello, Claudia. See you soon. Hope you're well, mate. Thank you very much. All good. Um, KH Vast. Hello, everybody. Chris Stubbs is here. Hello, Chris. How's it going, buddy? Hello, Mandy. Mandy's here. All the way from Albuquerque. Um, be well. Thank you, Sandy. Hello, Charlie. Smashing it, mate. Hope you get some time for Christmas. Yeah, I'm hoping to... I mean, I've basically had a week off for nothing. I've had some equipment malfunctions uh, with the brand new steam cleaner that I was hoping to feature this week. Um... Yeah, so I'm getting a replacement sent in on Monday. So everything's literally just been pushed back a week. So hopefully that, hopefully I can still get everything done when I wanted to. Because I wanted to kind of break up about the 15th if I could. But it's looking doubtful now. Um, definitely not working over Christmas, so no chance. Hello, Lillian. She said you'll be on, but mostly in my pocket. <laughs> Hello, Hannah. Um, where am I? I've lost it already. Um... Dan Hale says, melted wheelie bin. What happened there, mate? Did you leave your pressure washer too close to it with the exhaust face in it? Um, rookie mistake. I've nearly done it a few times, but luckily I saw a, someone else's picture of making that mistake, so I never made it. Um, JP Bradley, hello, mate. Crazy Brit, hello. All right, Bobby. Hello, Radio Kitty. Doing well, Claudia, how are you? Uh, hello, Sean. Hello, Chris. You don't have to talk. You don't have talk talk internet now. I've got Virgin, but I've moved upstairs now. Hence the different background. So, the I'm using Wi-Fi on my computer and it's just psh, rubbish. So, um, right. Hello, everybody. Jim says hi, Sid. What treatment would you recommend for removing moss off a slate roof following scraping? It depends on what sort of slate it is. If it's natural slate, so like a natural stone slate, um, biocide would be absolutely fine. If it's Man-made slate, which is cement fibre, could be asbestos, so check for that before you scrape. Um, and then obviously don't do it, um, unless you've got the proper protection for it. Um, then biocide will actually reveal the natural colour of that, which will be bright white. So to be honest, sometimes it's better not, better off not actually treating it. Um, hello Lou, hello Craig. Uh, Craig says, do you have any rude customers? Um, not really, to be honest. When I was window cleaning, you'd get a few, but... Now I only probably do about 10, 15 customers a month. I don't really get any, to be honest. Am I in the Christmas mood yet? I'm not a very Christmassy guy, to be honest with you guys. Um, but I've got two daughters now, so I have to sort of 
pretend to be in the Christmas spirit. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll be enjoying it for sure. Um, green some chilli. Sandy says spreading your videos, got to get you to that one million. Oh, it would be amazing. I, I think I need a few, uh, a few crazy videos to go super viral or something mad to happen to hit that. But you never know one day, it would be awesome. Uh, hello VG, hello me H, hello Joseph, hello Charlie, uh, saw that internet booster, yeah I saw the little, pl you can plug him into the little thing and um, into the plugs and it sort of boosts the signal doesn't it, I will do that at some point I think. Hello Richard, hello S Foja, Foja, don't want to butcher your name sorry. But yeah how's everyone doing, is everyone excited for Christmas? I just thought I'd jump on and do a live because it's been a little while without a video so hopefully I can get back to normal schedule next week. I feel like I'm always saying that. This, I've had a, a, this chair is annoying. I've had a, a big run of just bad luck. I've had such a lucky year and then just bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. So everything's getting a bit delayed. But yeah, I'll be uh, back on track soon. This window, I'm sweating already, guys. Um, hello, Casual Corpse. Paul says, hey, Sid, you have all concrete shingles or use tar. It's mostly concrete over here. Um, 99 houses out of 100 have got a concrete roof, or sometimes it's slate. Um, hello Buttercup, hello Joseph. Mandy says Christmas is really for the little ones. It's fun when they finally get old enough to enjoy it. Yeah, I definitely agree, yeah, 100%. Santa came round on a, on the back of a 4x4 yesterday, actually, and yeah, they were excited for that. Um, Sheena says, how are your arms after the massive roof project? To be honest, my arms never hurt these days, neither does my shoulders. That's what used to hurt the most was the shoulders just from going like that all day. Um, nowadays it's the it's the back and like the lower back from just I don't know, the angle that you're scraping at sometimes, but it wasn't too bad. I was a bit knackered, but it wasn't too bad to be honest. I think if that was like one of the first ones I'd I had ever done, I would have been dead for about two weeks. Um, hi Libby, hello Bobby. Bobby says, any tips for scraping in the wet? Uh, sometimes it's easier to be honest sometimes it is a bit easier um, but yeah it can just be really messy so it's just if it's if the roof's wet anyway it's probably going to be too wet to buy a side afterwards so what I'd recommend doing is do like a rough scrape and then try and like blast it down with some water and just try and get the most of that mud off because it does turn to mud as it's going so you can get a hose up there sort of go up the side of the house or um, yeah from like one scaffold you can probably reach and just try and blast loads of water onto the roof and try and flood everything down if you can and then the next day if you go back and everything's dried out it'll look a lot better anyway so Lou says how's the new machine doing yet it's not working it turned up with a fault it took me all down the first day just to get the pump working um, I'm not sure I blew like two fuses trying to do it I think just the whole machine was a bit dodged to be honest um, which obviously wasn't it's a well-known machine so it's not like it's normal for it I think I've just been a bit unlucky to be honest um, so I got it sort of working on the first day, but the boiler to create the steam in it um, wasn't working. So I spent two days trying to figure that out. Ended up with pretty much all decided. Um, I've been in like conversation with the company as well. They reckon it's an electrical fault, so they're sending out a replacement on the on Monday, and then it will get switched over. So, phew, nightmare. Um, so it set me back a good week. Um, Joseph says carbon fibre poles don't help. Uh, they do, it's a lot easier with the carbon fibre poles to be honest with you, it really is. Um, hello Mr Shelby, thank you mate. Um, that crazy Brit says, what advice can you give anyone starting a business? Um, I, I do get asked this a lot and I feel like I have a different answer each time, but I'd probably say the main thing is spend adequate time with each, well one of the main things, is spend ad adequate time with each customer. So don't just like try and like, blast out a job and quickly run off to the next one. Chat, especially if you're first, say if you're doing window cleaning and you're trying to build up your first 100 customers. I know it's not always feasible, but for everyone that wants a chat, give them the time and they're more likely to recommend you. Same thing with any job you do. Spend the time with the customers because the customers are paying the bills really, aren't they? So if they like you, they'll more than likely sort of pass you on. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably what I'd say. They'll be more likely to help you out as well if they think that you might be struggling a bit. <laughs> um, Chris, hello Chris, she says, hi Sid, what a huge job, uh, that roof, do you want to clean another soon? Yeah, usually want, once I'm stuck in a hard one, I'll be like, I'm done now for a month, I don't want to see another roof for a month, but then after like a week, I'm like, yeah, I'm ready for the next one now. 
Uh, sorry if my voice is a bit dodge guys, I'm a bit sick. Um, hello, hello Axel, good job on the free clean for kinda, thank you mate. Hello Ben, he says have a good weekend PEC community. Nice one Ben. Um, Romy says hello Sid from Be Clean Cumbria, nice one. Hello buddy, hope you're all well. Radio Kitty says if you power wash an as asbestos roof is it dangerous? I power washed a roof in work in the last week and we're told it's asbestos and going to be replaced. Uh, it's not ideal, to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, to be honest, with asbestos, it's, it's the fibres that get into the air, that's the whole point. So when it's especially older asbestos and it's sort of like, you know, it, it breaks apart and the fibres get released into the air, you breathe them in, it goes into your lungs, they stain your lungs, your lungs can't flush them out, so that's how you get asbestitis or whatever, asbestositis or whatever it is. Um, the thing with water being on it, it suppresses the dust so you don't get the fibres coming off. Um, so I wouldn't say it's ideal pressure washing one um, by any means. Um, it's not something I'm super knowledgeable about either. Um, but there may be some way around it, but I'm totally not sure, to be honest. I, when water and asbestos evolved, it's a, a, a lot safer to work around, but it's never safe to work around. You need to be suited up, really, ideally. So, um, yeah, maybe talk to the power washer roof who work. Yeah, it's, it's one of them, just... You always want to be as safe as possible. I can't really give too much more advice on that, really. Steve says, just discovered your channel this week. Watch a few recent vids. Much better than what I was supposed to be doing. <laughs> nice one, Steve. I hope you enjoyed them, mate. Chris says, so, Sid, what's the main reason you bought the steam machine for, as I hear, they're best for Indian sandstone? Uh, I wanted a second pressure washer anyway. I was going to go with, like, a big, crazy one from Rutland Pumps. Um, but then I thought, I want to get into the steam cleaning thing where I could have just bought, like, a boiler and put that connected that to my existing pressure washer and then it would run through that but I thought you know what if I'm going to get a second machine I might as well get one that's designed for steam cleaning but it's not necessarily just steam cleaning because it's it only goes up to a hundred and something degrees C so it's not like it's a mixture of steam and water just a, you know it's one of them but um, it's not only steam it can be used for a few things but um, it's basically just a very hot pressure washer um, so I was like I might as well get one of them and then I can start doing the roofs with that because it's not very powerful it's like perfect for roof cleaning basically um, and Indian, Indian sandstone things like that KP says hey Sid hope you're okay apart from the machine not working yeah I'm all good thank you hope you are as well Emmanuel hello mate nice to see you um, how's it going love from Romania all good mate hope you're all good Yoel says out of context but do you like anime I've never really got into it to be honest um, yeah I could never I never really watched it as a kid so I think that was why I never got into it sort of, I've got a lot of friends that like it but yeah I, I never never really got into it um, Victor says good evening all, hello mate Joseph says already freezing in the UK yeah it's cold, it's cold at the moment it's going to get worse though but compared to probably other places it's nothing um, right Rainy Daigle says hi Sid, you know the little girl with cancer doing yeah Isla May, she's doing well as far as I know um, I haven't spoke to the dad for a, a few days so I'm a, I've been meaning to go back to the pub he's invited me down to um He's just going to buy us dinner and stuff to say thank you and that, but I just haven't had the time to get back. Um, but as far as I'm aware, he usually updates me if anything happens. So as far as I'm aware, she's all good at the moment, which is great. I think it raised, what was it? Was it five th over 5,000 on the GoFundMe, which is like amazing. Really, it warmed my heart, that did. Made me feel great. Um, Lexi says, hey Sid, why don't you use the surface cleaner more often? Um, sometimes it's quicker to use the lance. I think a lot of people, when I do the block paving videos, um, and I just use the lance on it, the turbo lance, people are like, oh, I weren't using the, the pressure, the surface cleaner. It's because the gaps in it are so deep. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, I'm dying. Because uh, the gaps in it are so deep and full of moss, the surface cleaner just spins around really fast and it can't get the power to lift that dirt out, basically. So you end up having to go over it twice and then have to go over it with a turbo anyway. Um, so it's just easier to start with the turbo because that's so powerful, it just blasts it all out. Um, let me just have a drink. Matt J says, loved your work, Sid. Watching your videos while working from home really relaxes me. And makes me pressure wash my patio at the weekends. Good man. Glad I can uh, inspire you to, to get some work done around the house. Um, Chris says, your voice sounds okay, maybe a little tired. Yeah, it's, it's just, I'm, I'm here. It's just, I'm ill here. I'm all, yeah. 
Yeah, I got cold. Um, hello, Crazy Haller. All good, thank you. How are you, mate? Um, Emmanuel says, here we get snow. Well, in the mountains, I think we already have snow. Yeah, there's not many mountains around here. Not at all, actually, I don't think. Just listening whilst doing gammon and chips. I'm having fajitas tonight. Yes. Jordan. Jordan James says, hello, Sid. Watching your videos inspired me to push myself and start a cleaning business. All going good so far. Good man. I'm, uh, I'm glad to hear that, mate. It's... I always think it's just down to the, how hard the person works. It's I think anyone could do it, anyone at all. There's only some aspects of the job that are really physical, but I think anyone could do it as long as you're just uh, switched on. Um, yeah, and you don't be too lazy. Because I'm, I'm lazy by nature, so if I can do it, I'm, I just like I always say, anybody can do it. Because for years of my life, I was like the laziest person ever. I wouldn't get up till about 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon sometimes and go out and do a few jobs and come back home. Um... Michael McKenna says, hello, Sid. All the best to you, mate. Thank you very much. You too, mate. Hello, Philippe. Loving the vids. Thank you, mate. Um, a very Russian name. Said something and I can't... I don't understand that one, so sorry about that. RJ says, hey, Sid. Can't stay. Popped in to say hello. Enjoying your channel. Have a great evening. Hope you get better soon. Thank you, mate. All the best. Uh, hope you have a good day. Yarl says, how, how cold are the winters there in Celsius, please? Um, what do we get? I don't know. We usually get what minus three, minus four at the most. Minus three degrees. Yeah, that would be that. It, we use Celsius, don't we? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, minus minus about minus three. Sometimes a bit colder, but it's never too bad. But yeah, I think us English are a bit a bit wimpy with the cold. I know I am anyway. Um. Chris says, what kind of music do you listen to during your jobs? To be honest, I don't actually listen to music. I always think, oh, yeah, I need to get my music set up and go. Um, but a lot of the times I forget. If I'm working on my own for a long, like a long job, then I will sort of whack some music on. It's usually just, I don't know, a bit of rock music. I like Kings of Leon, I like Radiohead, bands like that. But um, obviously now I've got Kev working with me pretty much full time. Um, I don't want to be there with my tunes in when I need to sort of explain to him a few things and guide the, the training process um, hello Shade of Greens in Conu Rith Rhythme hey Sid just wanted to say thanks your vids, watching your vids gives me motivation to keep on working been my mum's carer since 14 and it can get really mentally draining wow all well, big respect to you that's that's no easy job I was a I was a carer for quite a few years and it's tough caring for other people let alone your own family so yeah big respect to you and um, I'm glad I can keep up the keep up the momentum. So yeah, I'm all good. Hope you're doing well. Matt says, is that water or vodka? It is uh, Bombay Sapphire Gin and a bit of tonic. I'm trying to sweat out the the germs. Pondermore says, hi Sid, hello. Uh, Emmanuel says, sort of try and watch a bundle of your videos when I can. And do you like Evanescence? Yeah, I do like, oh, I used to like Evanescence. I can't say I've listened to it recently, but yeah, definitely when I was in my... Uh, in my little goth phase when I was younger, definitely. Sorry about the chair, guys. Squeaking out. River Sum says, hello, hello. Um, Felipe says, you should ask the council if you can pressure wash that shovel statue in Burton Town Centre. That'd be a Henchford. I'm trying to think. I've probably seen it. I mean, I don't I don't go out much, guys, to be honest. But um, still sta statue, Burton. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've seen that. Yeah, I've walked through that loads, yeah. I did, you know, last time I was there, I was, I was putting a check in the bank and I was like, I walked through the middle of it and I was like, oh, yeah, I'd like to clean that. It's metal though. I don't think it was that dirty when I was there. I think it just rained, so it kind of just melted off. But yeah, no, <laughs> good show. I'll have to, I'll have to give it a, yeah, I might have to give him a message when I'm bored. <laughs> uh, Victor says, very cold and rainy days here in Manchester. I'm sure it's very hard to do your job in the winter. Yeah, it's not easy, definitely. It was snowing. What was it? When I don't can't remember last. I think it was snowing Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, I just started messing around that machine, but it was pouring down the rain all day. Yesterday was okay, but I was messing around with that bloody machine trying to fix it again. Um, so I couldn't work then. And then today I'm like, Ugh. so I've, yeah, I've just called it. Have the have the week off, and I'll start again next week. And I'm um, going to Shrewsbury to to see. Neil Stokes in the chat as well on Monday. Sorry for being such a 
menace for not answering phone calls, by the way, Neil. You seem to always catch me when I'm busy. Um, Bennett Jones says, have you taken on an employee under the self-employed, subcontracted or proper employee? Yeah, I've just taken on care visa. My partner's dad, so he's just working on a self-employed basis, basically. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go speak to my accountant and figure a few things out and sort of figure out what the best route is to go. Um, there was a lovely lady in the chat many months ago who's an employment lawyer and she offered her services free of charge just to give me some pointers on what to do so I might have to give her an email um, just to make sure I'm doing everything above board. Hello Russ, how's it going bud? Sorry if I've missed any anybody by the way. I can't stay on for too long because my voice is about to go. Um, Chris says, do you, do you have, is there many houses with Christmas decorations that don't allow you to clean? Um, not really. Again, when I was window cleaning, there was a few that thought, oh no, we've got all the decorations that don't bother coming, but I don't really do that anymore. So, um, but when a job's bo booked in, it's, it's booked in and that's that. So, no one's cancelled me yet because of anything like that. Uh, Michael McKenna says, Sid, do you hire or own your own scaffolding tower? I hired for the past year pretty much, but I own it now. Um, so now only if it's like a massive job, I'll, I'll start considering hiring a, another one in, but I've got no plans to buy another one just yet in case it come, if, if one comes up really cheap, then I might as well. But um, one's good enough for now, but I can already see the benefit of having two. Um, so I'm tempted. Prob yeah, probably halfway through next year, I might buy another one. I'm just trying to space out my... Uh, the things I'm buying because it's getting pretty expensive running it. I've got so much stuff. And most, I used to do the same job a year ago when I had none of this equipment that I've done now and I managed just fine. But now I've got all of this equipment. There's still so much more to buy and I'm thinking, like, <laughs> when are we going to start making any money? Um, Emmanuel says, didn't know it can snow in the UK. Yeah, it does. It, it snowed pretty early this year compared to normal, to be fair. Um, Sandy says, would love to see some sort of massive job. You, Ben and Nick are... It's the dream. That's going to be that's on the list of missions for 2022. Um, obviously, we all went to a expo together, cleaning expo, and we all met up and um, yeah, and we all had you know some beers and a nice time. We were talking about then like we need to get something done because it will be brilliant. Hello, Emma. She says, "I said I've caught you on a live. How are you? I'm great, thank you, Emma. How are you? Nice to see you here." Hello, Kathleen. Hello, Amy. Big fan. Thank you, Amy. Um, right, Matt says, have a, have a tree that drops clumps of red berries on the patio and stains it. Call the turbo head clean it. Ooh, that can be a tough one with berries. Um, it really can. A lot of times I find when, with birds as well, if they, obviously when they do their droppings, if they've had a big belly full of berries beforehand and that bird drops poop full of berries basically, it stains like hell. Um, possible you need chemicals on that, weirdly, just because it's only some berries. But yeah, yeah. Um, on a patio, a bit of sodium hypochlorite, it'll be fine. Um, but it might come off a bit. It's always try it with the pressure first. You don't need to use chemicals if you don't have to. Um, Naz says, looking at a pressure washer and wasn't sure what to get. Personal use, clean, my drive and car. What are the options? Hyundai, a bit loud, electric one, or Karcher. Um, Karcher's a, it's a safe bet really um, you can go like middle of the range Karcher for like 400 odd quid um, it's electric n no messing around with fuel and oil and servicing it and stuff like that it's just for home use any sort of decent electric brand you're going to be fine with I wouldn't really suggest like buying a, a big Honda engine beast or anything for, for home use there's no point you could even get a really cheap one because of the cost from safe. It only lasts you a couple of years and it's cost you 200 quid. Um, and you get three, four years out of it before it packs up. Still, if you if you pay two grand for a beastie one, it's going to, do you know what I mean? The money just doesn't rack up. You're better off just going cheap sometimes um, for home use anyway. Debbie says, hello from Washington. Really enjoy watching your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Debbie, and hello. Hello Eric, all the way from New Zealand, thank you buddy, nice to see you here. Hello Tristan, I wanted to drop in and say hi and spread some pressure cleaning love. Thank you bud, nice one. Gaz Jones, 81, whereabouts in Burton are you? It's my hometown but I've been living in the southwest for the last 16 years. Um, I'm pretty much right in the centre, I'm sort of only about 5 minutes from the um, 
from the from the middle from the town centre on. A lot of the breweries and uh, warehouses are sort of just down the road from it. Um, Danae says hi from the Caribbean. What time is it where you're at? It's ten past seven. So what time is it over there, Danae? Thank you for tuning in. Um, Naz says cheers for your thoughts. Love the channel. Thank you very much, Naz. All the best to you. Hello, Lever from Latvia. Enjoy your video so much that I want to buy a house so I can also do this. But I doubt doing myself would be that much fun. Nah, it is fun. You'd be surprised. It is fun. And until you've done it for about six hours and you're like, yeah, I'm, do <laughs> I'm done for the day now. Um, but nah, it's fun. I really want to buy like a really old, muffed up house that's just in a terrible state and just start working on it. That'll be a few years, guys. Uh, yeah, that'll be a series on the channel. will be me fixing up my own house. Um, hello Chloe, all the way from New Zealand again. Originally Worcestershire. Ah, what a move! I bet you so. Bet you so happy living all the way over there compared to Worcestershire. No offense to Worcestershire, but I think anywhere in the UK just doesn't really compete, does it, to to New Zealand? Um, she says, only found your channel yesterday, loving it. Well, thank you very much. Cheers. Chris says, Sid, I'd like you and Ben to help me with that commercial job. I asked you regarding pricing up. Looking good, I will get the job. Spoke with Ben and he's up for it, mate. Just say the word, man, I'm there. Um, as long as I get like a few weeks notice, ideally, I'm, I'm well up for it, so just give me a shout. Crazy Alice says, it's way past midnight for me. I'll take my leave now. Take care, man, appreciate your videos. Thank you very much, buddy. Thank you for all the support. I really appreciate you. Danae says, it's 2.11pm all the way in the Caribbean. Nice, what a time difference. Rainy day girl, Bombay Sapphire is my fave. Yeah, it's quite nice. I never usually get this one. I usually get the. I don't usually get gin, to be honest with you. But KP says, come to North Dem Devon to buy an old house to clean and do up. Some really good ones to clean in the area. Yeah, I wouldn't. To be fair, I wouldn't mind. The only problem with places on the coast like that, they can be fairly difficult for work. I've heard anyway, because um, they tend to sort of be. Um, yeah, just a little bit difficult. I guess it's just because you're so far one way. Like where a lot of the places I've been, they've been fairly central, so I can sort of span out all over the place for work. But yeah, I'd be tempted. I would. I'd like to live by the sea, to be honest. Or just deep in the countryside. Um, Steve Wright says, "In the is the recent Wales trip the furthest you've travelled for work?" I think it is. I think so. Yeah. Um, I've got a few on the list at the moment um, that are going to be. I think further away. Um, someone confirmed today actually for early next year, sort of down in South End, which is about three and a half hours away from me, I think. So we'll go and do that one. Um, end of February, I think. I think that'll be the first, because Wales is only about two and a half hours from there, so that'll be three and a half hours. Should be a fun job, that should actually. Um, shout out to Joe um, for getting, getting me that job. Um, Terra Kill, yo yo. Gaz Jones, can you smell the Marmite, bro? Yeah, sometimes. Um, yeah, sometimes it's really quite strong, actually, as well. Um, but a lot of people, apparently, in Burton hate Marmite just because they've grown up around the smell of it, but I've always loved it. But Hello, Connor. He says, start my pressure washing business, car washing value is thanks to your inspiration. Have a Wilkes TX750 as well. Thanks for the vids and the advice. Oh, wicked. How are you finding the Wilkes? I've heard um, I always have my mixed reviews on it, but for a starter machine, I always did enjoy it. Um, but how are you finding it? Because some people said they opened it up and it never started, so they had to send it back. But mine was alright. It did take me a while to start it, but it was it lasted me a year, man. It was a good machine. Leandra C says, what do you do on your time off? We know you don't clean 24-7. That's, uh, that's a fact. When I get home, I don't clean at all. Um, but yeah, um, I just scheme. That's my head. I don't really relax much, to be honest, these days. I mean, I do sit down and relax, don't get me wrong, but... I'm just planning. I'm always just planning something. I'm always just trying to think of the next thing. Again, I mentioned earlier on the live stream, so I've always been quite lazy my entire life. Um, but in the, the most recent few years, I got like a surge of not being lazy and my brain just fires and I can't really turn it off. So I just use that as a harness because I'm worried if I ever stop being the way I am now, I'm worried that I'd go back into being really lazy again and not wanting to get up in the morning and sleeping in till two three o'clock and just being like Ugh. so I, I quite like the way i am at the moment so i just scheme I'm, i've got like a re a few really good plans for youtube for next year um, which obviously i don't want to announce yet um 
but I'll announce soon enough. I'll, I'll, I've got... I think I mentioned a few of them anyway on a, on a poll before, um, but I've got some other ideas apart from that. So I just I think of just video ideas and stuff like that, which is annoying when I get set behind a week. Um, if anyone watches Asheville, um, it's a YouTube channel. He's a, a bloke from London in the construction industry. I've been really feeling his strain recently, like because he had a thing where he films his videos like all a week in advance, and I think it was like two weeks worth of videos just disappeared, just got deleted off a hard drive, and that was that. And he was like, "No," and it was just a, such a waste of time of energy. And that's how I felt this week. Like nothing's been deleted, but a whole week of my life has just been taken away just by mucking around, by having a machine that doesn't bloody work. Um, you know, that's brand new that I've spent thousands of pounds on, and it's like. Oh god, I could have just headbutted a wall. <laughs> it's just done my head in so much. I've been so stressed out. So it's set back all of my plans that I had. Because um, I was aiming for around now was to be the best video I've ever made up on YouTube. I'm still yet to actually clean the bloody thing because of this setback. So I run my life in like chunks. I can't start one thing, go do another thing. I have to start one thing, finish it. Start the next thing, finish it, and go like that. So. My life has just been set back basically by one thing, which has done my head in. Um, but yeah, I think two weeks from now, hopefully, I've, I've had the, the triple confirmation today. I'm going to be cleaning something that has never been cleaned on YouTube before, so everybody look forward to that. I'm so excited for it. But it's just been delayed over and over again. Um, sorry, that was a bit of a rant. Robots for Eyes podcast. Evening, everyone. Yeah, I need to get a podcast set up, I do as well. I might have to check out your channel. Copy your ideas. Um, Lara says, found your channel last month. I've been watching it almost every day. Oh, thank you very much. Hopefully I can get some new videos out for you soon. Joseph says, Loves, love the audio track on your vids, mate. Thank you very much. I do sp I spend way too long looking for music. You're so limited as well for copyright-free stuff. Um, you know, otherwise, none of the videos would make a penny, so... Yeah, it's um, or you get copyright strikes and things like that, which, you know, you could put your heart and soul into a video, use a song that you really like in that video. Someone copyright strikes it, and they just get all of the money from the video that you've just spent hours and days and weeks making. Um, Chris Dub says, "Cheers, Sid. You can stay at mine. I'm thinking of all three. I should do it in about five to six days." Yeah, man, I'm up for it. Just give me a show. Uh, Mandy says, "It's been very sunny and warm here, which is strange." Um, because by now it's starting to get cold. Well, look at you. It's been freezing here. Absolutely freezing. Um, Connor says the, the Wilkes works, but always seems to run rough. Yeah, it's a loud machine, man, and it bounces and shakes, and, yeah, it's loud. Get used to that. <laughs> um, turn the revs down just slightly. It's so not all the way up, just just down. That will help a little bit. Um, Robots for Eyes says Marmite or Bovril? That's the question. Marmite, definitely. To be honest, I've never really got into Bovril. Um, Dan says what you're drinking bit of gin and tonic mate um, Terra Kill says six months after starting my surface cleaning just started to pick up as winter sets in is that normal? no that's not normal at all that's completely the opposite way around so if you're doing well in the winter you know book yourself a holiday get excited because you're going to really do well in the summer now um, and the spring as well so a lot of my pressure washing works went psh, every winter so yeah good job um, evening Sid, hope you've had a good one Thank you Void Perfect, you too Leandro says Someone please send me that not being lazy energy Pfft. Yeah it's uh, I, I genuinely lived about 21 years of my life of just being I wasn't always lazy but I was just not I had zero motivation For anything at all So, um, Oh something's gone off My internet's dropped, I'm back Um so yeah, I'm definitely glad I'm the way I am now instead of the way I was before. Uh, Ophelia says, what's a good way, what a good way to spend my dialysis? We have you on the television here. Oh, well, I, hope you, uh, I hope you're making good improvements and all the best to you. And um, yeah, I hope you don't have to be there too much. Um, Terracle says, Karch HD, diesel pressure washer here. Yeah, Karch is a good range, man, to be fair to him. Emmanuel says, do you have any time doing some sports or gym? How do you stay in shape? I've been meaning to start the gym, to be honest. I really have. Um, but I just stay in shape through work, really. And I've got a super fast metabolism, so I just never put on weight. That's why everyone says I'm really skinny, but I can't help it. 
Um, Buttercup says, you're not lazy if you have a healthy work and life balance. Your ability of self-care greatly impacts your work and family. Yeah, I mean, this was all long before kids and things. Kids definitely helped me. You know, they lit a fire under my, my butt, really, and got me to work. Um, but before that, I was a bit of a, a, bit of a lazy guy. Um, Chloe Andrews, what inspired the burst of energy a few years ago? Um, yeah, same thing. And I think you do just hit a point of maturity where... I'll close up my trick now. I think you do just hit a point of maturity and you're thinking, right, if I stay doing what I'm doing now, um, that's it. <laughs> and I've always been a guy that's wanted the finer things in life, you know, so I realise very quickly if I don't start now, then I ain't ever going to start, so... Um, right, where are we? I am going to have to head off soon because my throat is closing up. But I'll get to these, the rest of these questions. Um... Bilu, hello mate, thumbs up to you. Leandra says, also how, how can we help you when you get so busy and frantic? I'm a graphic designer, so if you ever need help, you can reach out. Uh, see, I've just spent hundreds of pounds on something, that, oh, sorry, was it worth it? Um, maybe I should have done did a live stream before I did that. Um, but yeah, I'll remember you actually now, you know what, screenshot that and I'll, I'll shoot you a message. Yes, I will save that to my Dropbox actually, thank you. Um, yeah, and I'll send you a message, and um, yeah, we'll have a talk at some point soon. Because um, I don't know, I feel like I've been overcharged on a lot of things recently, and I'm like, are people overcharging me because I think I'm making millions off YouTube or something? Because <laughs> it's like, I used to get like deals and things like that, but it's like these days everyone's just slapping on extra money for things. Um, Phil Tucker, I love your channel, and since two or three episodes back, you also jet washed the public path as part of the roadside. Um, of your customer's house your respect group then even stronger yeah that's another tip that I'd say to anybody starting their own business always do the path do the road as well just like clean up your mess you don't have to get all close up and clean it as well but clean your mess off of it so it matches the rest of the neighbours at least um, yeah that'll help you get more customers because a lot of neighbours are looking out the window like this like watching you because they're annoyed they don't like the noise they're seeing dirt fly everywhere and it's slapping up against the car all the way across the road and they're thinking oh yeah they don't like you when you're there they just do not like you but if they see you clean up after yourself they're like oh he's doing a good job there and he's tidied up so i might give him a call um right dan says where about seeing you from i'm from burton on trent bud um naz says do you have any specific camera setups to do on your jobs what type of what type of stand and mount do you use? Um, right, the actual stand, the clamp that I use is holding my phone in place now. But that attaches to this, which I know, yeah, looks like a certain type of object. But um, it's not, it attaches on the end of that, and then there's a GoPro that clips on the top, and then that, you can bend it to sort of any shape you sort of want. That's how I can like, clip it to like a piece of gutter, in, for example, and still have like a straight angle on the camera. Um, and then apart from that, good question actually, because I've got it all here with me. Apart from all that, big tripod here, which is pretty handy. I think this was this was only about thirty quid or something. A really good buy. Um, and actually, this I'll, I'll ask you guys now. Just say yes or no or whatever in the comments if you want to see it. I've been I was thinking today actually while I was scheming, bored with nothing to do, I might do a video on a comprehensive guide on how to start a YouTube channel about your business. I mean, I wouldn't put it as a YouTube channel in general because I just do videos on my business. So it'll be like, basically the way my business survives now is off YouTube pretty much. Probably 80% of my work comes from homeowners watching my video and sending me an email. So I thought I'd do a video because I don't actually need to advertise anymore. It's brilliant. This is my free advertising. So the hours that I put in on a night making videos it's not, yeah, it cost me a bit of money with equipment and stuff like that, but it's not major money. So, um, yeah, I might do like a video of how to, as a, if you're starting a business, of how to, I, I, I haven't got the title yet, guys, this is what I do. I just I speak to myself and I'm like, oh, well, how would I make a title? How would I get the video together? But it'll be basically starting a YouTube video to promote your business and how to do it and how exactly how I did it. Um, the mistakes I made, the equipment that you need, how to film and edit a video, um, how to structure a video, just literally everything, even getting a logo sorted for your YouTube channel, just everything to make yourself look more professional and things like that. That was my idea. Um, obviously, I'll have it a lot more streamlined than that when I make a video, but 
yeah, if anyone wants to see that, I know there's a lot of guys out there that ask me a lot, like, oh, I want to start making videos, how do I do it? And I'll basically do a video to tell you how, so. Um, sorry, I think I've missed loads of questions. I've just popped up Connor Rush is, is it Rush or Roach? Because I knew somebody before with a second name, R-O-C-H-E, and it was pronounced Roach, and I always said Rush. It's Rush or Roach, but beers on me, mate. Thanks for the stream. Cheers, bud. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the five quid, mate. Hope I didn't get your name wrong. Um, all right. I'm going to have to head off in five minutes, folks, if that's okay. I'm sweating. I'm... <sighs> Um, I always get really sweaty when I do these, I don't know why. Big respect to the people that stream for like 12 hours a day. Gosh, I'd lose about a third of my body weight. Um, Con oh, Connor also says, sorry I missed this mate. Uh, random tip, you don't have a mixer for chemicals such as hypo for soft washing. A foam kind of works really well and is a way cheaper way of doing things. Yeah, I agree, those little foam connection things. Um, I haven't used it yet, is it in my bag right here? No, it's not, I think it's downstairs. Yeah, I bought one little snow foam thing just in case I needed it. Um, yeah, nice and cheap. Hello, Teresa. Chris says, used to have a TX850 from Wilkes. Great machine. Four wheels, easy to load and wheel around. Went through three in less than four months. Same problem with all the machines ahead went on it. Yeah, so they're not built to last. Um, if you're lucky, you'll get a decent amount of time out of them. I mean, I got a year out of my one. But, um, but yeah, they're definitely not... They're not built for commercial business use are they um gaz says gin get a pint of fast down your lad yeah nah i've um i thought i'd try something different because for some reason gin makes me sweat so whiskey doesn't or beer doesn't i thought i need to try and sweat out my illness um kp says what did you learn to edit your videos on um sony vegas pro well i've been editing videos since i was a kid but it was always been sony vegas that i used um but you've got like Adobe After Effects, which are good. I use that for a while. There's Premiere Pro. They're all very similar. Um, but the main thing is getting the, the render settings and the project settings correct. Because if they're wrong, you could film a video in landscape and it will come out portrait and all messed up or it might be bad quality. There's, I'll go through all of it in the video if, if everyone wants to see it. Um, Kate Pearson says, can you get Kurt to sort out coming and pressure wash our patio for the summer? I told him to speak to you last summer. He <laughs> got me to do it instead, which I can confirm it won't be doing again. Yeah, I'll come round. Just give me a shout. I'll come round soon. <laughs> uh, I'll probably say end of Feb, early March, I'll come round and do it. Probably be the best time if it's ready. It will still be clean for the summer by then. Say hello to Kurt for me. hope you and the kids are doing well as well. Uh, Gaz says, in all seriousness, love your videos. Keep up the good work. Cheers, Gaz. Uh, Leandra, people will take advantage of you, be careful out there. Yeah, I don't know, I'm starting to see it. Um, especially with things that people know that I don't know anything about as well. Um, Rob says, hello mate. Hello Rob. Hello says, I'm sure you know the struggle as a Brit. What's the last time you got drunk since you began working for yourself? Probably too much. That's my 2022 resolution is to cut down on that. Um, Naz says, yes, 100% YouTube guide. Could be ace, wicked, I'll do it. The governor's here. Hello governor. All good, mate. How are you? Uh, Daniel Drone in. Evening from Clacton on Sea. Hello, Daniel. Sorry, guys. Everyone's flooding in. I've got to head off in a sec. Um, Kurt's just sent me a photo. Um, it, is it weird that you're on my telly? He says. <laughs> um, all right. Sorry if I miss anyone, guys. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Chloe. Hello, Mary. Would love to see a video on how to start a business. I've done a few similar things, but maybe soon I might just do a genuine blanket, exactly how to start. Um, that might be worth doing. Um, doo -doo -doo. Hello, Katie. Christmas spice rum tonight. Ooh, I love rum. That's one of my favourites. I'm jealous. Boyd says, yes, please, on the YouTube thing. Will do, mate. I'll get to it. Have you considered a Patreon? Yeah, I've got my join thing on YouTube, and I thought that would be better off, so people didn't have to go to an external site, but I might have to do the Patreon instead, because YouTube take like 40% or something crazy, so I didn't know that until I bloody already did it. Um, Dr. Soda, got to get one of those. Um, love your videos, Brutally Honest says, Rob, thank you. Spreaks Down says, I really like to see that, even though I don't plan on making videos myself. Well, you never know. The one thing I'd say to anybody is just, you might as well make videos about everything. Anything you do, just because somebody finds it interesting. I mean, I didn't think anyone would find what I do interesting. I knew there was a small market for it, 
but you've got that drain, uh, what's his name, drain addict, he blasts out poopy drains, and he gets like, he's making thousands and thousands of pounds a month just showing his daily, daily work. There's that post 10, he just unblocks rivers, thousands and thousands of pounds, you never know what could happen, you can just make videos on, on daily life. Connor Roche, Roche says it's Roche, yeah, nice one. Um, don't want to call you Roche, do I? Uh, N-word, N-word says I cry in the shower. Well, perk up, bud. Hope you feel better soon. Um, Emma says, take care. Thank you, Emma. Void says, as well, may I message you with ideas for T-shirt designs? Be willing to help? Yes, please do. Please do, because I'm in the process. So please do, send me, send me anything that you, that you think would look cool. Um, hello, Adam. Emmanuel said you have a gaming chair at Corn, need to get one too. Yeah, this one's old, man. I need to get, I need to get a new one. Um, I've got my gaming. I've, I bought like a gaming wheel and everything to use, but I haven't had time to use it yet. Um, Michael says, do you ever soft wash the roof first? No, not with moss because it's actually not allowed to, because uh, the moss is a plant. So you need certain licenses to be able to kill it first, then remove it, which I don't have and I don't tend to, don't intend to get. Um, Hello Phoebe, love your video, thank you Phoebe. Right, I do have to go guys. Look at my face, <laughs> I think I've got food soon. Everyone's saying I love post 10, yeah he's wicked man. Some people have just made like the best channel by accident. And I just, I'm, I'm obsessed with it, I love it. Post 10 is, I love his voice as well, the way he speaks, it's brilliant. Um, so yeah, shout out post 10. And Drain Addict as well, Drain Addict's legit. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry I've got to run guys, I'll do a longer live soon, um, I'll probably drive out to just a nice spot and sit around and do a nice live stream if I've got a signal there, so yeah, thank you everyone for checking in, it's been a blast again, my voice is about to drop, so I'm trying my hardest to like keep a tone, um, but yeah, thanks guys, thanks everyone for checking in, appreciate you, and I'll see you all soon.